On this week's episode, we talk about Vin Diesel's new movie, Bloodshot. We also talk about the new Netflix special uh, for Jerry Seinfeld, 23 Hours to... I can't remember the name. 23 Hours to Kill? To Kill. Yeah. Yes. And other pop culture news of the week. Bloodshot. Bloodshot. <sighs> Adapted from a comic book. Yes. From Valiant, Valiant Comics. I think that's the name of the, the publishing that company. Right. Uh, and so the movie adapts the story of this military guy that almost dies. Almost died. There he died. Yeah, he was. And it's dead. like bringing back to life using technology, nanotechnology, mm -hmm. to be more specific. Yes. And. The hearing question is, uh, Van Diesel. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his, what's the rest of his name? I'll be honest. When I see Van Diesel in a movie, is I it? never remember his character's name. No, no, no. The character, he's the actor's name is John Van Diesel, Robert Van Diesel. Oh, really? He does have another name. Huh. I can't remember. We we. He's Vin Diesel, bald yeah. of head and deep of voice. Yeah. So, yeah, the hero uh, in this one is Vin Diesel, and he, mm -hmm. yeah, he's a former Marine, right? Special Forces. Something like military. that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's brought back to life by this corporation, mm -hmm. which, like, most of those times in movies, is like evil corporation. So, by mm -hmm. this corporation using technology uh, that... No, no, technology that it's in his blood. It is his blood, isn't it? It is his blood, yes. Yeah. There's the name blood mm -hmm. shot. Yeah. Yeah. So anything that happens to him, like cuts or inhaling poisonous gas or anything like that, all these little nanites just come and rebuild him right away. Yeah. So kind of like a Wolverine type thing, this like constant regeneration, but only like, done with technology. But like little things that mm -hmm. like give you force, like midi-chlorians. Yeah, oh, that's right, mm -hmm. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> these also give him super strength, which we get to see when the regular punching bag doesn't work for him. And so he has to work out with a concrete pillar which is clearly a supporting pillar of the building, which really bothered me, but anyway. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It was a very dramatic moment. He broke all his fingers and then they all healed and anyway. So this corporation bring him back to life mm -hmm. as all the soldiers and he apparently is it the first uh, successful case of using this nanite blood. Mm -hmm. uh, and But there are well, others this... with like new lungs, new legs. Yeah, from this new point eyes. from this point on Spoiler. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as she said, there's other people. Mm -hmm. There's a girl. And, well, this guy has a past. He, he had a fiance, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And they use, they manipulate his memories to make him do what they want. Yeah. And the way they do is they have targets people that he has to kill and they manipulate his memories and make that person the person that killed the his girlfriend uh, on his last mission before he died so when he wakes up he wants to uh, revenge her, the girlfriend mm -hmm. and kill that bad guy that killed her mm -hmm. which ended up being a conspiracy from the corporation that the guy is killing uh, not Van Diesel's enemies, not uh, Freedom's enemies, but he's killing, you know, his competitions, he's his own yeah. enemies. He's using him to kill his, his mm -hmm. enemies. And then he finds that out. Which would have been a really cool twist, except they put that in the trailer. Yes, that's true. So, that's true. Like, the only part of the movie that wasn't, like, a fairly generic run-of-the-mill action movie storyline type thing hmm. was in the trailer yeah he, which you i know, think was a huge mistake trailers yeah you know trailers mm -hmm. these days they basically yeah it's like hey you want to watch this movie <laughs> and then decide if you're gonna watch that movie not but just think movie. how cool that would have been if we were watching the movie and we see vin diesel start to have these flashbacks 
and and remember like his wife being killed in front of his eyes and then he goes to kill the bad guy and we're right there with him like yeah he got revenge and now he gets to move forward with his life and obviously date the one hot girl who works for the corporation but it doesn't it doesn't take long in the movie for us no. to realize that the bad guys are the bad no. guys that's and true. The fact which that again is kind of obvious like from the second the bad guy shows up especially because we've seen this that actor whose name escapes me, as it always does. It's Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce, yeah. We saw him follow a very similar arc in Iron Man 3. Three. Yeah, where he shows up as a benevolent scientist, and it turns out he's actually a evil madman. Yeah. So, so that was really predictable. He looks like a bad guy pretty much all the He time. does. He looks like a bad guy pretending to be a good guy. Yeah. Which is probably why they cast him as a good guy, pretending to be a bad Or no, wait. Anyway. The point is that I'm just I'm I'm just annoyed that they took away that moment because it should have been a <gasps> moment where we were questioning everything real right along with Vin Diesel. It would have been so cool to go through that with him in the movie. Yeah. And they took it away. Yeah. Again, yeah. trailers. But yeah. So and then Vin Diesel uh, to gets revenge against the the bad guys. They're supposed to be good guys, mm -hmm. and he's on his side. But actually, uh, so yeah, shame on the bad guy that recruited a good guy to work for him and the good guy realized hey you're a bad guy so yep. he fights him beats him and he walks literally rides to this towards the sunset with the new uh, hot girlfriend mm -hmm. and yeah with her super techno lungs yeah mm -hmm. she she he he doesn't take her breath away because <laughs> she doesn't have yeah but but i guess it was a good installment maybe maybe gonna maybe gonna get more yeah, it does. It does seem. I mean, it's it's fine. It's nice and wrapped up on its own, but it does seem like a good setup for yeah. a franchise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, quick thing talking about uh, sequels. Uh, Extraction yeah. is doing really well on Netflix. The numbers are like over the top, mm -hmm. and they already announced a sequel for it. Nice. Yeah. Do they have like a time frame or anything, or are they just? What do you mean? Like when? Yeah. When, when in the movie or when production wise? Like production wise. No. Yeah. Okay. I might take like two or three years. Sure. With Corona still out there. Oh, uh, yeah. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to see a sequel. The Adventures of Tyler, the extraction mm -hmm. guy, and maybe his uh, fellow uh, young boy wonder kid that's going to help him. Yeah, uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? But if it's as good as the first one, it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. See. Do have they said like anything about the Russo brothers being involved? Or? Yeah. Was okay. the I was one of the Russo brothers actually announced that scene. Oh, okay yeah. then. Okay. Well, I'm 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 here for that. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Netflix, yeah, made bringing good stuff. Yeah. To the, to the screen. Uh, mm -hmm. More of Netflix. Yeah. There was this fairly. I uh, just want one more thing about Bloodshot. Bloodshot oh, is one mm -hmm. of the movies that was premiered, for the. For the big screen for the mm -hmm. theaters and it had to be put out because of corona so you know all the movie theaters are closed so it was released uh for home uh streaming home video uh earlier than it, mm -hmm. it was supposed to and yeah you can watch on screen streaming anywhere anytime back cool. to netflix yes netflix uh, released, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, it was like, it's like, it's brand new, the new Jerry Seinfeld mm. special, mm -hmm. uh, 23 Hours to Kill. And this was a good one, honestly, I liked it a lot better than the last stand-up special. Yeah, I, like, I liked it too, I don't, know, I don't know if I liked it better, mm -hmm. yeah. There was some, I don't know, for me there was some moments that was, I felt there was like some editing issues, mm. you know, it's like, Nothing to do with him or with what he said, but it was like the camera would cut from his face uh, to uh, to like close up to a wide uh, shot, and it, it didn't oh, seem sure. to match. It was like yeah, but mm -hmm. besides that, it was it was funny. He still was. he still got it. He does, yeah. And it was I think what I liked better about this one is that this was kind of it was it was updated. It was almost all new material. But like his style was it's always, too. But it's always new material. These yeah, guys, I guess. these guys try to not, uh, 
repeat themselves. Yeah. Okay. Well, either way. That, that's funny. that's why the, the the I mean they say they struggle because you know uh, there's actually a very interesting documentary. Uh, I think it's Jerry Seinfeld comedian. That it's like after he was done after he was done with the show yeah. after he was done touring mm -hmm. he like he decides to come back and then he goes back to the beginning mm -hmm. you know like rocky he goes back to the streets and he yeah. goes you know it starts where he started doing the like the little club the smaller clubs the, yeah, and doing the club testing material and mm -hmm. testing material first five manas first then ten manas and 20 and 30 until he finally mm -hmm. had an hour and then it's like okay i'm back and then he's back yeah and so yeah i know they try to to do always something new mm -hmm. yeah well he totally succeeded and he started the movie with or the special with his very own jumping out of a helicopter into a river stunt yeah which was Unexpected. Yeah, it was, was, was kind of cool. A, a joke. He was in the helicopter. Yes. It's like, oh, why are you going? It's like, you, you can leave me anywhere around here. And then he jumps. Yeah. And it's actually him. Yeah. Jumping out of a helicopter. The post credit shows him practicing, uh, yeah. training for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Honestly, it wasn't just like him jumping into a river that was impressive, but like he's kind of a neat freak germaphobe, right? I didn't know that. It, oh, okay. I mean, there's well, one like, episode in the show in, that... In it, Seinfeld, he's always, like, fussy about, like, germs and stuff. And, yeah, I mean, and that, being clean that's one big, that one's one big instance in the, in the show that uh, uh, the, the, he drops the girlfriend's uh, toothbrush that's in right, the toilet. in the toilet. And put it back, and when he looks to the side, she's already using it. He, uh -huh. he has not the, uh, the boss to tell her. But when then he finally tells her, she goes <laughs> to his apartment and tells her, I put something here in the toilet, and he gets... Crazy because yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't know what he thinks it's anything and everything. Yeah. yeah, I think that's probably the big one. That's a big this, one, but there's other like, like references throughout where like yeah. Kramer does weird stuff and. Oh, but Kramer does weird stuff. That's true, but Jerry's reaction. Anyway, I always had the impression that he was. Okay. A bit of a. Bit of a germ. I mean, germaphobe. if he was, that Neat was freak. a big. Yeah, because city rivers are gross. Of New York City River. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway. It was cool and and set up a yeah a good special we laughed a lot i don't yeah. know it's yeah it was good sometimes you need like the environment of being with a few hundred other people who are laughing too mm -hmm. i like i think i think you laugh more at a comedy show when you you're mean, surrounded by people laughing when you're there yeah yeah but, i mean as he said you you paid for it you know yeah you pay you, well yeah there's there's <laughs> that but, like, you paid for it and your mind is set up. Like, I paid for it. I'm here. This is going to be funny. People around you are laughing. Yeah. And I just I just have this theory that you it, laugh at stuff in a, at a comedy show that you wouldn't laugh at. And like you said in, in, the, in the beginning, it's like you, you you go through a lot to go to stuff like that. It goes like true. Uh, uh, <laughs> getting people together, making sure you have the tickets. Do you have the tickets? You go, yeah. you park the car, you park here, then you go there. Uh -huh. It's like we're going to eat before, we're going to eat after and all that. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, yeah you, you, you kind of put yourself in a situation that, yeah, you, you, you better laugh. You better laugh, laugh gosh yeah. darn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld's new special, uh, 22 Hours to Kill, is available on Netflix. It's, it's really funny. It is. He delivers, and he's, he's old, but he still does it. Yeah. Yeah, 65 if kids funny thing I, I i didn't know much about him he only got married at 45 mm -hmm. so he's basically the character from the show yeah uh, yeah yep all right we celebrated star wars day this week yes star mm -hmm. wars day may the 4th mm -hmm. and there was a lot going on inside indoors virtually yeah. uh let, let's see like there was some some sales, some promos like Legos and mm -hmm. merchandise, and the movies. Uh, the price for the movies dropped. Mm -hmm. uh, there was the release, the Jedi Academy for PS PS4. It's a oh, old cool. PC game. They finally released for PS4. Uh, also uh, sales on the on the games. What else? Hmm, there was sweepstakes and giveaways from, from mm -hmm. Disney Star Wars websites. Oh, I don't remember if it was on the day or around the day, but Disney announced that 
Taika Waititi is going to be. Yes. Is doing a Star Wars movie. Yeah. We don't know exactly like when or where how this movie is going to fit in with other stuff, but he's doing one. And I, for one, am very happy about this. Yeah, hopefully they will mm-hmm. give him the freedom that he he needs. Mm-hmm. And he will do a, a good job, as he proved, yeah. uh, by his past works. Uh, hopefully we will not be directly connected to the main main story, to the main yeah. character saga. So he can get a, have a freedom to do something cool, like they did with Rogue One. Mm-hmm. Uh, or like he's already done with Mandalorian. He directed the exactly. finale yeah. of Mandalorian. And I think Mandalorian, like Rogue One, owes a lot of its success to it being separate from the Skywalker saga. Mm-hmm. And hopefully he will be a nice guy and... Remember his friends and invite, you know, Favreau and Filoni. Oh, I'm and sure. they're working together, gonna make something mm-hmm. cool. A fake news site I issued what I thought was a hilarious headline about how Kathleen Kennedy um, had announced that she's looking forward to having creative differences yeah. with Mr. YTT and that Disney's already looking for directors to replace him. Yeah. But he's already got a good track record with Disney, with Marvel, and doing Thor Ragnarok, which is one of the more successful films in the Avengers saga, right? I mean... Uh, well, I don't know if it was more successful, but it was very popular. Uh, well, it's successful. He's already it's done... I, don't know if it's, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't remember the numbers. Yeah, me neither. But it seems like people really like that and that's when that yeah. still gets talked about uh but again it's still not working for Catherine kennedy we'll see it's true it's true yeah. but he's got a good track record with them with disney and with star wars and also just being a fantastic director and writer so so yeah i think this will be a good thing yeah more of star wars and star wars day uh mm-hmm. on star wars day was released the final the end again of Clone Wars. Oh yeah. And Ooh, we said emotional. goodbye. I mean, I mean, maybe for the for the last time to Ahsoka and Rex mm-hmm. uh, and Darth Maul. And but he keeps popping up all over the place. Yeah, but depending on where the movie, this new movie goes, we might never see them again because. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Rebels, maybe they're going to follow up on Rebels because Rebels end up on a cliffhanger. It's true. Well, we know that Ahsoka, she's already been cast for Mandalorian. That's true. So you know we'll see her again. That's true. We're going to see Ahsoka again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was really good. It was uh, these guys, yeah. Filoni and his team, do a terrific job. They mm-hmm. do Star Wars. Like, they're probably the best people that do Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, since Lucas. Since, yeah, Lucas started the, the prequels. Yeah. And these guys, uh, not only not only them, but people that did uh, books and comic books too. The mm-hmm. Spended Universe people. And Clone Wars, it, it, it's basically people that, that do Spended Universe. Mm-hmm. And they are so good that Disney could not <laughs> erase them. You know? Yeah, that's true. Because Clone Wars was pre-Disney Takeover. Mm-hmm. That's and it's one that. it's one of the 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 materials that mm-hmm. they did not erase. It's like this is canon. It's, it stayed canon. And it's 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 so good that uh, he was able to, for instance, to bring, uh, uh, I mean that was rebels, but rebels was like a, a, a fruit from Clone Wars. Yeah. And but and they were able to bring back uh, uh, Thrawn from the actual mm-hmm. original expanded universe. Yeah, and that's they right. use the use original. Uh, characters uh, on Rebels and so on Clone Wars mm-hmm. and on this one they, they leave you the last chapters they leave uh, the characters from Clone Wars like right where the prequels end mm-hmm. right by the Order 66 when the Jedi will be purged by the now uh, new formed Empire mm-hmm. and yeah that that's where it ends yeah, which is, it's it's great. It's perfect. It's so emotional. When Clone Wars first came out, like, years ago, um, I I just always had this impression it was a kid's show until I actually watched it, and it might look like a kid's show, and it has some more, well, it's just, it's not. It's, like, really deep, intense stuff, 
that happens. Um, yeah, no, in, it, in, it, in it, this series. It, so, and and the finale lived up to that. Yeah, it grows and you evolves mm-hmm. it, and the characters develops. Like Ahsoka was like, oh, oh my gosh, I hated her. Brat. Everybody hated her. But now she's one of my favorite characters, yeah. like top five. Yeah. Easy. So that that was it. The end of Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's available. The entire the entire final season, and the entire show is available on Disney mm-hmm. Plus. Yes. And yeah. So go watch it, enjoy it, and be changed forever. Yeah. There's there's more Star Wars. Any more Star Wars? Oh, there will always be more Star Wars, but I can't oh, think of anything. Oh yeah. Right now. Uh, if you are, oh, yeah. if you if you are in Utah, uh-huh. if you are in LDS, or if you are into choirs, if there's any people like that out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Nerd. Uh, so. <laughs> The you might I'm married to an art. <laughs> you might know the Motab, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, internationally known by no, no. people that know. But they're not the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Oh whatever. It's the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. Oh sure, they changed they changed the name, but you anyway, know, you know, for purists, for classic. Uh, Old school fans is always gonna be the Motab, Motab, yeah, uh, Motab forever. Hashtag Motab forever. <laughs> gonna uh-huh. put that on the uh, hashtags. Uh, so uh, they gonna release uh, mm-hmm. Night of the Movies album where they're yeah. gonna perform music from movies, classic mm-hmm. movies, and on May the fourth, mm-hmm. Star Wars Day, they released the teaser for Duo of Fates. From yeah. the prequels, from episode one, it's like one of the best Star Wars music by John Williams, where the uh, with a choir. Uh, do you mm-hmm. have it? It's just part a of it. Yet. Yeah, yeah, I it's think t- the, no, it's not mm-hmm. released yet. Yeah, it's gonna be released soon. But they've got Duel of the Fates. The choir actually has a special relationship with John Williams because he wrote a piece just for them to perform at the Salt Lake Olympics oh, back true. in 2002, and he came and yeah. conducted them. Am I jealous? Yes. Because I just, oh, what what an experience. Um, so, do, yeah, Duel of the Fates. The other things they've said, they're going to have When You Believe from Prince of Egypt, um, a bit from Avengers Endgame, um, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, and um, one of the choral pieces from Frozen. And I actually have no idea how to pronounce the name of the song. Hello? But, Oh, is that one? No, 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 it's not that one, because that's not a choral piece. It's the the one um, that they sing at her coronation. I um, know. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's a bit from Frozen. That's not all right. They, they have I more. don't think so. They've only teased it, those is there, five is there, pieces is there, is there, is, so far. Is there, for the, for the Prince of Egypt, is there? Is there? Yeah, When You Believe. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what they've released or suggested, teased thus far. Yeah. But either way, if you're into movie music, it sounds good. It sounds you like can, a good. You can listen to to mix. do teasers, teasers, mm-hmm. and it's, they're out there. Yeah. They're Spotify, and, Apple Music, yeah. the use. And yeah, they're good. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any more Star Wars news? Oh, that's a bunch. Okay. Uh, just a little bit of news. Disney's lost like big Oof. bucks. Lost a lot of money. Yeah. But. They're gonna stick to the Chinese and they're gonna open Disney. That's right, Shanghai. Disney Shanghai is. I was like, oh, you opening. said you guys said that you were here. Okay, come, yeah. bring your money. <laughs> Actually, they're gonna start with Disney Shanghai. Uh, uh, many fa- I can't remember how many faces, but a many face mm. reopening of the parks, which includes like wearing okay. masks, uh, keeping social distancing, mm. uh, you know, to try to not, you know. Uh, make the situation worse anywhere Mm -hmm. trying to you know get better everywhere (sighs) yeah i guess that has been rough for disney though like no parks no cruises no theater releases yeah that's a lot of what they do Mm -hmm. but they've been doing the sing-alongs they just did another sing-along on uh tv broadcast tv and then disney plus has been good for them yeah Oh yeah, Disney Plus numbers are going up. Mm-hmm. Streamings overall are all going up. Yeah. Everybody is making good bucks mm-hmm. uh, on that. 
Yeah. So yeah. don't worry, the mouse lives on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else happened this week? Oof. I can't think of anything. Honestly, the big piece of news I was excited about was Take Away TT. And we already talked about that. Yeah. Any we'll any uh, finales this week that we're worth talking about? Oh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I thought had a nice finale. Mm -hmm. I maybe cried a little bit. It's a very emotional show. I mean, it was. But not in a manufactured way. Like, I feel like they're just telling a story that is inherently emotional. They don't have to... You know how, like, the, like, like this is us, or... Yeah, no. You know, no, where yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah, manufactured yeah, drama. Uh -huh. No, this one, this one is, it, it's entertaining, mm -hmm. it's funny, but it has... Mm -hmm. it's, it's real, you know, like, life yeah. is funny, entertaining, it has and good... has sad moments. Mm -hmm. And uh, we still wanted to uh, spoil it, ah! so... Oh, yeah. Uh, ah! But... Uh, you said it was, it was, it was sad, it was, mm -hmm. what you said, what was the word you said? Emotional. Emotional. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be less since her father died. Yeah. You know, I guess that's the, 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 the apex, apex of mm -hmm. sadness in the show and I guess yeah. it's gonna deal with other problems. Like Which is fine. There are plenty. Bo boyfriends and, yes. you know, secondary characters. Girlfriend has so much boy drama. So and, much boy drama. Yeah, and the well. We don't know if the show com mm -hmm. is coming back. NBC didn't announce what the shows are renewed or canceled mm -hmm. yet. But hopefully it will. It's a good show. I'm sure it will. It seems to be very popular. Sunday night show. So mm -hmm. it's... If, if if NBC cancels that show, they're going to show it, you know, on Sunday nights. Like, I would be shocked if they like canceled God it. Like friended me. I, I mean, I don't even know if that's NBC, but I just, I, that show does <laughs> not appear to mm -hmm. me at least but yeah just just a quick bit about uh renewals and cancellations yeah. arrow uh arrow arrow channel <laughs> cw yeah. uh renew pretty much everything yeah but arrow because the show that ended ended uh what else cbs renew mm -hmm. a lot of shows but it, we already know it canceled uh help me out the show with the doctor, what's the name? Um, Carol Second Act. Yeah, Second Act. Is Man of the Plan? Man of the Plan is canceled. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, Tommy Broke. Mm. Uh, yeah. And Broke just started. Although, it, that one's not a huge shock. Yeah. Neither is Carol Second Act. I'm disappointed. I enjoyed it, but yeah. these aren't yeah. like... I'm sorry for Patricia, but yeah, the yeah. show isn't... Yeah, it's very limited. A sitcom in a hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Scrubs was very popular. Yeah, that was totally different though. Yeah, I guess I guess the lack of uh, guy love and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Well, well. Uh, one last one before we go. The cast of Community announced that they're gonna table read uh, special. Everybody's gonna get together oh, and read an episode. Uh, online for you know mm -hmm. current event initiative to mm -hmm. make money to help people you know it's going on out there yeah anything else oh that actually reminded me andy circus is doing something similar he's reading the entirety of the hobbit for a gofundme for covid19 relief but he said he said he will use quote all of the voices oh so, yeah that, so I, think, I saw that that's yeah. cool yeah so that might be a fun listen it's supposed to be something like 12 hours Cool. But, uh, yeah. I hope he records that like in good quality so he can sell it. Yeah. Yeah, people will buy it. And where we can find that? Uh, GoFundMe, I think. GoFundMe webpage, yeah. Google or GoFundMe, Google and the Circle, yeah. Lords of the Rings. Mm -hmm. It's Lords of the Rings or The Hobbit? The Hobbit. Okay. So Andy Circus, The Hobbit, GoFundMe. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's one. Daniel Radcliffe is up, supposed to read some, oh, yeah. some, some time somewhere, the mm -hmm. whole uh harry potter harry potter books mm -hmm. yeah. that's it cool. for this week yeah stay safe may the force be with you yes live long and prosper bye bye